Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagidemo TV. I am Salut Solakomi Ajikade, first year the major headlines for the national news. CBN demonetization policy. MB Knox Federal Government says Buhari wrongly advised. Someone who signs 1.76 trillion Naira 2023 budget into law. Ocean Tribunal. Now kicks student group threatens protest. I call Balej plot to kill Colonel through poisoning, starvation. Mayhem in Guzal as talks, anti tugby operative clash. Death sentence for man who killed four use their intestines to cook food. And lastly, on sports, MPFL insurance Remo stars in top of table clash. Rivers United face Dakada in Uyo. Now hear the news in details. President of the Nigerian Bar Association, Yakubu Maiyao San, has disclosed that President Muhammad Ubari may have been wrongly advised on the monetization policy because by the provisions of the CBN Act, the power of the CBN to call in any of its notes or coins otherwise, described as the monetization, can also become operational upon the directive of the president after giving reasonable notice for the recall. Mikey Al argued that from the clear wording of the section, these two conditions must coexist before the power to call any of the notes or coins by the CBN can crystallize. The NBA president stated this when he paid a courtesy called on the Minister of the Finance, Budget and National Planning, Dr. Zainab Zanzuna Ahmed on Friday. From his consultations, the questions that have been trade the policy, NBA president said, was there a directive of the president and where there was one, could it be said that the notice given the prevailing circumstances was reasonable? The question was there a directive of the president? Then speaking on the condition of the reasonable time as provided for in the law, the NBA president added that why the CBN for the first time announced the policy in October 2022, citizens have not only been given a mail for five days to swap Naira notes, since the new notes must only become available for December 15, 2022, reacting on the demonetization policy of the CBN, which directives all that the old Naira notes, 100 Naira and 200 Naira, 500 Naira, 1000 Naira, we cease to the legal tender in Nigeria from February 2023. The NBA insisted that the law allows Nigerians to redeem their old Naira notes at the CBN after everything that happened in January 31st, 2023, deadline set by the Apex Bank. More so, the NBA has appealed for the urgent review of the demonetization policy of the CBN. Lagos State Governor Babajide Soholu on Friday signed the state's 1.768 trillion naira budget of continuity into law to consolidate development strides of his administration and satisfy the yearnings of the residents. The governor said that the fiscal document not only aggressively focused on completion ongoing capital projects, it would also expand intervention programs and intensify social support to citizens and their means of livelihood. The budget was assented to a show ceremony held at the governor's house office in Alausa. So we saw that the spending would further demonstrate its government determination to scale up good governance and quality service to the citizens through the team's agenda, stressing that the budget would propel the state to a higher level of fiscal growth and social development. The 2023 operation bill has a capital expenditure of 1.019 trillion, representing 58% of the 2023 budget. The recurrent expenditure representing 42% is 748 billion naira, which includes personal cost, overhead, and debt services. Following the Friday judgment of the Oshun election 
tribunal, which sought Governor Ademola Adeneke and declared former Governor Boyega Oyetola as the winner of the July 16, 2022 governorship election. Some student bodies have been kicked against the development. The National Association of Nigerian Students, Zone D, in a statement obtained by the punch signed by its deputy coordinator, Alao John, decried the tribunal judgment. Touring the part of Governor Adeleke, the student body also called the development a miscarriage of justice. Now said that is on record, also stalwarts of all progressive Congress have boosted federal mind that they would win the tribunal case without any altar of doubt. It has been observed in Nigeria that truth often surrenders to manipulations of the big men. Also out of three judgment that all to be read, only two were read with one in support of the People's Democratic Party. The Southwest students body, however, all the ocean people to remain calm and law abiding. Pro separate group, indigenous people of Biafra, has raised the alarm about the Cladan's tight plan to eliminate their leader Mazi in Nambi Kano through poisoning, drug abuse, and starvation. Kano is currently being detailed in the custody of Nigerian government's secret security agency, the DSS, is alleged cell to be dying through a silent and systematic process of gradual starvation. Raising the alarm on Friday that the group, through his media and publicity secretary, Ima, powerfully disclosed that Kanu now feeds twice a day on bread and water without medications for the treatment of his ailments while the DSS solitary confinement facility in Abuja. The group warned that Kanu should not die in the DSS custody, adding that if he dies there, their custody it will come with unimaginable consequences. I call leader also alleged that his leader has been poisoned and is being allowed to gradually die. The secret police want to eliminate Mazi in Nandikano through a silent and systematic process of gradual starvation of giving him only bread and water twice a day and drug abuse by providing him insufficient medication for his known ailment while in their solitary confinement facility in Abuja. One person was reportedly killed and five others wounded with various degrees of injuries during a clash between the operators of San Florida State and Sitogri Committee at Udmans at a motor park in Guzal, the state capital. Addressing newsmen in his Guzal office, the chairman of the committee, Alehaji Muhammad Belo Baki Azua, saw these operators of the committee acting on the intelligence that one of those was attempting to kill somebody in the motor park and quickly mobilized to the scene but were attacked after the arrest of the man suspect. The talks came with dangerous weapon and attack by men who retaliated and that led to the death of one of the talks while five of them sustained various degrees of injury, he added. Speaking further, Bagiazua said that the arrested eight of the talks pointing out that the five of arrested suspects have been detailed at the San Francisco State Police Command why three are in the custody of the committee. Don't those that be a wanted criminal by the committee for supplying logistics including vehicles and dangerous drugs in the state, he stated. Back Yazua, whose folders allege that the don't those that be selling dangerous drugs in the motor park and encourage the old drugs to commit ugly related crimes in the motor park, stress that the operatives of the committee has been working hard to get him arrested while assuring that the suspect will be arraigned in court as soon as thorough investigation is completed. He appealed to the public to remain law-abiding and abstain from drug abuse, stressing that the committee was not established for political reasons but to address some related crimes in the state. The River State High Court has sentenced one best man, Lekia, to death by hanging for killing four people and using one of his victim intestines to prepare planting porridge. Lekia was also said to have once building in a community in Kana local government area of the state. The convicts and other cells to be at large murdered Gobu, Mobali, Etim Ekpe, Nene Labari, Umbe Ebe, and Love Day Umbe Ebe. Lekia and his gangs first kidnapped Love Day. Mbaibe took him to a place where they removed his intestines 
and used them to prepare a plantain meal on Oak White community in Kana area in 2019. The trial judge, Justice Ado Falls Enebeli, found Lekia guilt of murder, kidnapping, courtism, and armed robbery, saying prosecution lawyer proved the case beyond every reasonable doubt. Justice Enebeli saw that the attitude of Lekia throughout his trial proved that he was an ardent criminal, cultist, and a terrorist. And lastly, on sport, Bell Dog Insurance and Remo Stars, two teams with a 100% record in the Nigerian Premier Football League this season, will clash in a match day for encounter in Benin City on Saturday. Remo Stars top the Group A, standing with 9 points, same number of points with Insurance, who sits in the second position with an inferior goal difference. The visitors are yet to concede in the MPFL this season. And maintaining that clean sheet record will be important to them, getting a positive result in the summer of where Mundial Stadium. Daniel Ogumode Day side defeated Gombe United 1-0 in their last away game. Insurance with all their talismatic forward, Imade Osei Ko, comes to the party again. Imade has scored three goals in three games for the Benin Arsenal in the current campaign. In Group B, Odas. Rivers United will be the guest of Dakada at the Goldswind Aqua Bill International Stadium in Uyo. The Rivers United have won two and brought one of their opening three games. Starling Ekuma's side occupied top spot in Group B with seven points. Dakada are in fifth position with four points from the three games. And that concludes the national news for this hour. But before we go, here's some of the major headlines once again. CBN demonetization policy, NBA knocks federal government, says Buhari wrongly advised. Someone who signs 1.76 trillion Naira 2023 budget into law. Ocean Tribunal now skips student group threatens protest. IPOP alleged plot to kill Kano through poisoning and starvation. Mayam in Guzao as talks, anti talk operating clash. To join us on all our social media handles on Facebook as Gagademo with Alawi at Debayo. Please follow the page and share the page. And on Instagram at Bagademo underscore 22. Please follow the page and share the page as well. And on YouTube as Baba Bagademo TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn your post notification bell. And for your advice, please call the number screen on the screen. Thanks so much for always watching our news on BGI TV. I am Sanus on last for me at GKR Day. Bye for now. Audio jump. Audio jump.